Welcome back. Kenya's plan to build a power plant is finally getting the green light after a seven-year wait. Now, the African Development Bank has approved initial financing. The zero-emission project could save the country from a polluted future. Carol Oyola reports. The plains of Turkana, vast arid lands in the north of Kenya where wind blows consistently from the southeast at an average of 11 meters per second. Untapped for all these years, this resource up to 162 square kilometers is about to pump in up to 300 megawatts of electricity into the Kenyan electricity grid. This comes after the African Development Bank committed an initial $149.5 million in financing. You know, we at the African Development Bank do not see our role simply as that of a financier. That is perhaps uh, one half or one third of what we do. The other role that we play and that we seem to play very well here is that of a convener, you know, giving confidence to others to come in into projects such as this. Another $400 million is required to reach financial closure and discussions are ongoing with the European Investment Bank, Denmark's official credit agency, EKF, Propaco, and the Bank of South Africa, among others. Core arrangers will be South Africa's Ned Bank and Standard Bank. The government of Kenya will provide a partial risk guarantee to protect the project against the risk of delays. And we are fully confident that the Lake Turkana Wind Project will reach financial closure within the coming weeks, if not months. Groundbreaking is expected around September of this year and construction should take 36 months. Once complete, the project is built to be the biggest wind farm on the continent and should save the Kenyan government up to $30 million currently spent on diesel-powered generators to bridge the power shortage gap. Carol Oyola, CCTV.